Another one of the capital sins is anger. In the little booklet on the capital sins about by ten publishers, we have an excellent explanation of what anger does. We have given way to anger and hate when we harbor resentment in our heart against a certain person or persons, when we plot harm for anyone by word or deed, when we use insulting language toward the offender. We are guilty of anger when we become excited and incensed to such a degree that we strike or hurt another, when we wrangle and quarrel violently with another, when by the sullen expression on our face or by our silence we show our resentment toward him. Our sin is very, very serious if we harbor rancor or hatred in our heart for days or months or even years and abstain from marks of kindness and friendship. We are also guilty of anger if we abuse our authority and punish an inferior more than he deserves. We may even direct our anger toward God interiorly or exteriorly in passionate blasphemy. Anger indeed is very, very destructive and highly, a highly injurious vice. A fit of rage deprives deprives us of reason, it estranges us from God, it separates us from friends and relatives, anger clouds the intellect, and its unreasoning obstinacy makes us trample on the rights of others. Anger destroys peace and produces disastrous wars. It causes all sorts of evils, discords, enmities, long-standing quarrels, insults, spites, slander, blasphemy, hatred, revenge, murder. All these things kill charity and are obstacles to grace, our greatest gift from God. So indeed, we have to look into our hearts to see if we have these angry impulses within us. Obviously, they do not come from the good spirit but from the bad spirit. And very often anger comes from self-love and it comes from pride. So now we're keenly aware of all the negative, negative effects of anger, which can even lead to murdering another person. So in the next session we're going to talk about how can we overcome these angry impulses within us and live a life of Christian charity.